one of the things that I kind of feel like it's 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 missing uh, in my writing process. I mean, at least sometimes I feel like I'm missing a little bit of randomness. I tend to be a control freak when it comes to the music that I'm making. Be just you know trying to make the best possible quality out of it, out of it, or just portraying the emotion that I'm I'm trying to portray. I think it's a it's something I cannot escape. We all hit a wall. I don't know when and where and how that happens, but if you're an artist, if you're a crea creative person, if you make music, you draw, you make animations, you probably know the struggle. I don't know how different types of uh, artists approach getting over the wall, but when it comes to music, I know what works for me. From time to time, I'll find myself bored, out of my mind, making music a traditional way. And I would go for alternative writing methods. I would record myself in a loop, on a tape, or some similar, like, in some similar unforgiving environment where no mistakes could be made or where mistakes would have to be a part of the recording. I would, you know, mic up Yelka as she's working on something, she's cutting papers, because she used to do that for her business at the time. So I would mic her up, I would plug my guitar in, I would record both of us at the same time, and whatever comes out, that's a song. I would record a vocoder piece and I would mic up my surroundings so you get like a little flavor of what's going on in the room. Um, I would record a bunch of glasses, tubes, anything that would, you know, generate a, a pitched tone a sound and I would make like synths out of it. I would record a squeaky chair accidentally. This is the chair. I would make a, you know, like a lead synth a solo type thing out of it. I mean, you get it. It's just a little something that will, you know, take me out of my... It's just a little something that will take me out of my comfort zone from time to time and, you know, just make the creative process just that much more exciting and random. In April 2020, uh, during the lockdown, I I kind of started losing my shit over modular and granular synthesis. And I kind of started looking into all the different ways on how I can implement those in my writing process. So today I want to show you um, and tell you more about the inspiration harvesting composition method, call it whatever. And it's approached in three easy steps, plant, grow, and harvest. Actually, I'll let the lockdown David from about a year ago um, tell you more about it. Okay, so here's the way I would go about this. So I recorded a little guitar loop. It's just like a little chimey sounding clean type Dorian thing. But, you know, just to give you an idea of how this works.
First step, record yourself. Be it your voice or your instrument, it can be anything from one note to full shred or chords, distortion, clean, dry, wet, doesn't matter, it's up to you. Second step, send the signal through your preferred granular synthesis module or a plugin or a pedal. We'll discuss those later in the video. Uh, this is where you both have the control and you lose the control, which is the most beautiful part about all this. Third step, harvest the inspiration from the randomness that the granular synthesis has offered to you. In my case, I decided to go more of a uh, orchestral route and you know for people who know what I do and who follow me that will not come as a surprise I'm pretty sure but yeah this is a step where you get to do whatever it is that you intend to do little details like these derived from this Or details like these. Came from this. And so on and so on. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure you get the idea by now and I just hope that you find this as interesting and as intriguing as I did when I started implementing it in my own writing. As for the tools that you can use, there's quite a few ways to approach this. Three option would be a VCV rack, a gateway drug into modular synthesis. And I might cover it in the future, like different uses for guitar players maybe. Plugins that you can look into are Form by Native Instruments, uh, Porto by Output, Audio Damage, Quanta, and I'm sure you'll find a, a huge list of those. And there's a number of guitar pedals. There's a Red Panda, Particle, there's Mood by Chase Bliss, Microcosm by Hologram Electronics, which is what I like to use. And there's a few more, I can't remember them from the top of my head right now. But yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of tools out there and I'm pretty sure you'll find the one that suits your needs. So let me know how you feel about this. Would you try it? Do you see yourself experimenting with something like this um, with your own music? I'm curious to know. Uh, let's, let's start a discussion in the comment section. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.